Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bomb Left in a Corner. We have none I believe, confirmed Fantasy is returned out of retirement. Might make a push at ASL. It'll be an interesting ASL with the return of Fantasy, the return of Flash. Makes things very, very exciting. JYJ in top form, Royal coming back. A lot of really good Terran out there. And Terran has been tearing it up. Oof. I feel bad making that pun. Top left hand corner, we got Snow. The best, really the sole Protoss, I want to say. He, his TVP is incredible. But Snow's starting top left-hand corner is the Teal Protoss. So this might be a potential matchup we see in the ASL. This is going to be on Polypoid. Between the two, I wouldn't be shocked if Snow has the edge right now. Being that Fantasy's just getting back into it. Or getting back into it seriously. But... It does feel like it's just snow out there, as far as the the Protoss player. It, honestly, it feels like Terran just are dominating across the board in this era, for whatever reason. And then on the Protoss side, you got Snow, who is there. You've got Stork, who's got kind of the skeleton of his former self limping around. Um, is still a threat. But, yeah, not a lot of other Protoss. I mean, Best is still there, and he looked sharp, but still, the, the Terran are just scary. And then as far as Zerg, Zerg feel a little... They, I saw this Zerg lament video not too long ago where they had a, a lot of Zergs lamenting the current condition amongst one another. Like, we just don't we don't have anything going right now. But you had... Uh, in that field, you still have some good ones, but it doesn't feel like anybody's really... Hero has been a threat deeply for whatever reason, but he just can't seem to get over the top. He seems to just get... It, it, he's got the wall, which is the quarterfinal. Can't quite get into that final... Can't make it all the way for whatever reason. Anyway, once again, a refinery and barracks opener for fantasy. I'm not shocked to see that. He tends to be a little bit more of a. I'm wondering if he's going to, in this new era, transition his play away from some of the gas opener builds against Protoss. He's going to scout bottom right. Gateway opener here. And it looks like interesting risk from Snow not going Zealot first, instead dropping that cybernetic score and getting some additional pylons. So going to be a little bit more Dragoon aggressive to start. Oftentimes that first Zealot is protective against some of the more aggressive things that pro that, that uh, Terran can do these days, including a kind of a new push that we that Firebat Hero has created, and as well as some of the early uh, barracks into expansion style play. First Marine going to start making its way out on the map. Looks like it might scout top left first, and actually with the lack of Zealot, might be able to get something out of that. Fantasy being very, very aggressive considering, but he's only left a single SCV in gas, so it looks like this is just going to be Rax Factory potentially into expand, but I am a little bit shocked to see the Marine going this deep into enemy territory alone. So just, just a Marine and an SCV now scouting. I found the base, dropping. I think this is just to try to force a probe pole or something. This is kind of cute. I got, I got, because this is not a winning scenario. Overall, the Dragoon getting some damage, but yeah, able to, that was kind of clever. So loses a Marine, this Marine going to retreat, but loses the Marine, still gets scouting information, but forced a couple probes off the line and a bit of a reaction there, maybe to create a bit of economic disruption, but that was not a serious commit and a little bit cheeky there. Three Marines have been produced, still going to go for it. Look at this. So letting the Dragoon make its way all the way across. Pinning it in, and it looks like it's going to be able to box opposite corner. Like you're trying to mirror, and now actually pulling some additional SCVs off. All the SCVs coming. What is this? Have, so, okay, we got five SCVs left. The rest of the SCVs pu have pulled off, and the Marine's now going. So how many... What is this? So seven SCV there. Another five. So we got 12 overall with three Marines. Looking to push up against this. So shield battery's been dropped. Dragoons are trying to pull the initial SCVs over to the right. But more SCVs making their way into the natural. Fantasy really wants to uh, assault this. Only a single gateway is producing. Range not there yet. So it's going to be probes versus a Dragoon. This is three, so now four Marines and a Vulture. This is an overall winning battle, potentially. The second Dragoon making its way back up to try to micro. It is now surrounded. One Marine down, two Marines down. And the Vulture wiped out. Some excellent micro overall. Fantasy really wanted to make this a micro fight. And Probes now amidst absolutely everything. Another Marine down. The Dragoons... Okay, one Dragoon left. 
starting to work on what it's can what it can a bunker being built behind this even though there's only two marines left and one marine is all that remains it's wiped out so the bunker's up is the marine going to be able to get there it looks like it is going to be able to get there but range is going to finish it looks like the dragoon's been boxed in by the SCVs finally able to break out with some help from the probes and the vulture able to slip through as well so okay bunkers established now <laughs> this is insane Bunkers established. We've got a slew of SCV there as well. Range, I believe, is finished. The probe are scattering from the main. That vulture has been wiped out. The SCV going very, very deep into the defensive lines. And more Marines starting to march their way up. This is about as aggressive as you can get out of a Terran player. So now six SCVs remain. The vulture still active. Still no second gateway from snow overall able to wipe out that vulture the two dragoons are doing a great job of just scrambling everywhere they've been constantly just having to fire and dodge versus these scvs two marines left this is not a winning scenario overall for the marines and the probes again pulling off the line to take care of the scvs now that the dragoon count is down uh, to one no marines left in that bunker trying to take out the dragoons as they're produced snow still maintaining this it looks like the probe's going to be able to wipe out that forward Marine and the pro, uh, the Vulture trying to get what it can. So now two, two Dragoons out remaining. They do have range. One Marine left in that bunker. And they're just going to get uh, fired at at range. And this is finally, it looks like, although the, the weakened Dragoon is at the front. I don't think this Nexus is going to fall from this. No support SCVs as well. They're getting wiped out. Nice kind of rotation of the Dragoon. They're going to try to hold the high ground. More Marines and Vultures continuing to press up. Fantasy not halting this assault the dragoon trying to create a bit of a blockade beautiful micro split to try to protect that ramp and create a nice distance in fantasy's attack forces and it looks like they're mostly walking and getting wiped out there so the base stands as all things are left the machine shop being dropped we've got 15 scv five worker lead overall for snow but critically he's got three dragoons <laughs> that are still remaining. It looks like a vulture is still going to try to sneak out to that 12 o'clock and Snow now walking out on the map. And this was with just with one gateway that entire time. Now dropping a robotics facility. Mines being upgraded. Fantasy trying to scramble to get something else out there. And it's a push from Snow to get back to that natural expansion, maybe to deny that Nexus follow-up. And this, this might be the, ooh, careful. GG maneuver, just going to try to assault from the low ground. Able to get a Marine despite the misfire rate. Siege tank has been produced, but this is still plenty to deny that Nexus for the time being. This Vulture might be the X Factor there at the 12 o'clock location. So as things stabilize, Snow now also producing off the double Nexus, able to completely get ahead in the overall worker count and saturation, finally adding on some additional gateways. What an incredible defense I gotta say from Snow. Fantasy really, really going for it. Is he going to go for another push? I think this is just to try to establish his natural expansion. And right there, yeah, some Dragoons pecking away at that SCV on the front. Two siege tanks and a good amount of Marines. Ooh, and some clever mines there in the background. Let's see if Snow falls for the trap here. I think he, well, does he recognize it? Okay, the, the forward it looks like the rear dragoons. Oh no! Okay, so lost and took some damage right there. Fantasy not out of it yet. Might be able to get a secondary assault. Okay, the dragoons able to at least walk to a defensive position. Looks like the probes able to defend themselves last second. Blockading right there. Drawing right back out. So now two siege tank and again, secondary. This is crazy. Two siege tanks on the front pecking away at this snow with a massive supply lead most of that is in workers and he still has that range advantage so pecking away at the marines and shortly is going to have an observer i believe yeah once this observer makes it to the front i think this is going to be the end because siege check is not going to follow oh never mind siege check finished actually still might have a shot at this that observatory might be taken out granted the observer's already out and it's going to be a ways before uh vision is there so now Vulture being repaired as well. So now, Fantasy able to reestablish a bulkhead with three Marines in that bunker. It could be a minute, and Snow actually out of supply right this second. 
for easy play right here. More mines out on the front. But the Observer at least there to detect and deal with the rest of it. This is nearly a full control group of Dragoons. If anybody can stop this, it is Snow. Right now, just trying to, I think, keep the keep it out of range. Supply Depot and other, <laughs> other debris being created. The probes being now pulled out of that natural expansion. Natural expansion being grabbed from Fantasy behind this. This is what happens when you get an aggressive Protoss that just... And this is against Snow, of all people. So it looks like that Nexus might get taken out. A couple mines being preemptively wiped out. Zealots, wow, for the, just in the timing for the Zealot, beautiful mine sweep. One Zealot on the Siege Tank, it looks like able to create a good amount of disruption. One Siege Tank down, all the mines gone. Second Siege Tank gonna get wiped out, and now the Dragoons can just walk out of range of that bunker. Or actually, they can just straight wipe it out. Natural Expansion just uh, had about two, just about 200 health to spare. And Fantasy needs to get his own bunker and a lot of stuff up to defend that natural. Scattering a little bit. Some vultures look like they pocketed themselves top right. Looks like a pylon wall is going to greet them as well as two dragoons, so they're not going to be able to, yeah, get that counterattack. But nice try overall. An observer on the forward field needs to be very careful against that turret. Only a single, a single siege tank. That is not going to be sufficient. SCV is now pulling off the line. We're seeing somewhat of an inversion of the early stages of this match. But that should be GG from Fantasy, as this is just too many dragoon, Dragoons to try to defend against. He's going to end up losing his natural. This will be two base. Honestly, a third base waiting to get established from Snow. SCV is trying to do their best versus the Dragoons, but he was already behind economically after all of the shenanigans. And I mean shenanigans at the early portions. Looks like a siege tank going to join the fray. Siege up top, but that's still not... I don't think that's going to be sufficient. Oh, the Dragoon's going to walk up and pick off the siege tank. I thought they're going to walk top left out of that siege tank range. That's allowing the SCVs to get a little bit of damage, but there's GG. It's going to be a fun ASL coming up here. I'm kind of excited about it. Welcome back, Fantasy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.